Okay, so what we're looking at here is a 2003 Jetta Wagon GLS TDI, so it's a diesel. And the diesel and the gas engines have a different way for checking your crank position sensor. They, I'm not really sure if they're in the same place, but you do the same thing just with different pins. And this is not the location of the actual sensor. I believe that that is inside the upper timing belt cover. This is just the location of the wire harness, which is all we need access to to test it with a multimeter. So it's actually right, just right here. It's not too bad of a spot. It's in here, it's in this little doohickey. So you just pull up on that to make it free. This is like the saddle that it sits in. And then you just need to pull the puppy off. I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so I got it disconnected. Here it is, I kind of shoved it in here. And I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but if you look in there, you will see, uh, oh, you can just barely see it, but the pins are numbered down in there. See where it says one, two, three. So depending on if you have a gas or a diesel engine, you're gonna test different pins. We are, we're gonna test the connection between one and two for a diesel, which is what we're gonna do. But if you have a gas, you're gonna test the connection between two and three. Not sure why they're different but that's cool. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. We're gonna go one and two. Okay, so we're on one and two and we've got 1.137 between pins one and two and that is what we're looking for. Let me check my, my sheet. We're looking for between 1.1 and 1.6 kilo ohms. We have 1.148, so we are good, which means this crank position sensor is fine, and we can try something else to see what's wrong with our car. Anyway, that's all. It just took us forever to figure out where this thing was, how to test it. There were no videos online, so we thought we'd make one. Hope it helps.